how you doing? My name is Ryan, and today I'm building the sales floor for my custom Lego Dunder Mifflin. So I'll fully admit right up front, I'm giving about 70% credit to the office underscore Lego for the design of the sales floor because the original model he submitted to Lego Ideas has just a beautiful sales floor look. The scale is fantastic and the color on the desks is just beautiful. The things I'm changing in my version of this set are the structure of the base, the build of the desks, as well as adding a ton of detail pieces scattered throughout the entire set. Transitioning his reference images into a digital model took a lot more time than I thought it would. Now the real challenge was adding all the detail pieces. I knew a lot of them would come with their respective figures, but I wanted to give each desk a bit of a personality. Things like bottles, bobbleheads, newspapers, Andy's guitar, I think would really liven up this set and make it really fun. However, I also kind of figured these detail pieces would raise the price of the set on Bricklink. Thankfully, it wasn't too expensive, definitely more pricey than the other additions to Thunder Mifflin so far. Uh, it was priced right around $70 to $80 as opposed to $30 or $40, but that's fine. I think it'll be worth it. The pieces just arrived a couple days ago, so let's get building. Okay, so the sales floor is done, and overall, I'm pretty happy with this set. The desks are definitely a little bit more cluttered than I imagined, but I think it'll work out fine. Some elements I'm really happy about in this set include the water cooler, which I think looks wonderful, as well as the bobblehead on Dwight's desk, represented by the red micro figure, and the weapons behind his desk too. The giant stabbing knife and a pair of scissors, which, let's be honest, Dwight would absolutely use as a weapon if necessary. The overall look of the set is quite nice, especially the colors of the desk. That blue is mwah, beautiful. And the overall scale of the set's quite fun too. It's much bigger than the other Dunder Mifflin sets. And this larger set would not be complete without too many figures, the first of which is Dwight Schrute. With the hairpiece from Professor Flitwick and Ned Leeds, the face of Leonard Hofstetter from The Big Bang Theory, and the body from Harry Potter's Remus Lupin, but the older version, making this figure one of the more expensive to actually build. The second figure is Jim Halpert, featuring a swept to the side dark brown hairpiece found on Xander, as well as some city people, the face found on 1960s Bruce Wayne, Ant-Man, and Ezra Bridger, and the body from a police officer. However, this is one of the few minifigures I actually did some custom print work with. I took some nail polish remover to get rid of the police badge insignia on the torso and some flesh colored acrylic paint for the arms to end up with a wonderful blue button down work shirt with Jim's signature cuffed up sleeves. If given more time, I think I can make this figure look even better. It's a little bit sloppy because of the nail polish remover, but I'm still quite happy with the way it looks. Now. This set includes both Jim and Dwight, so yes, I had to include a prank. It's one of the longest running gags in the office. 
and I had no shortage of pranks to choose from. I could have included a picture of Asian Jim on Jim's desk. I could have wrapped Dwight's desk in wrapping paper. I could have included an extra outfit for Jim to make him look like Dwight. But in looking at all the pranks, there really is only one that I thought would look great in LEGO, and that's the original. So in this set, I included Dwight Stapler in Jell-O. And the sales room only gets better when you combine it with the other sets in the series. Every time I add a new piece to my Dunder Mifflin, I get really, really excited because one, this thing's gonna be huge, and two, I love the way it looks. It's just so much fun, there's so much little details, and I love seeing it all come together. I cannot wait to add the next set to this series. I'm currently in the process of buying the pieces for the conference room, so stay tuned for that episode. And as always, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching.